this episode of the Disney Dining Show on location, actually with the boathouse right behind us. Um, I've never eaten here before, have you? I have never eaten here either, um, but uh, I like to eat outside generally, and I, you can already tell we did a walk around beforehand, and it is beautiful. There is a ton of stuff to look at here. Yeah. I love the boat there, the dock that goes out into the water, so that's yeah. a cool location, but it does bob it up and down a little bit, so I don't yeah. know how dining out there would go, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I, I don't even know what's on the menu, so uh, I'm no. excited to check it out. Uh, on the seafood, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I know there's an oyster bar, but I don't love oysters, so. I love oysters. Yeah. I don't know how pricey they are here. But, um, we'll see. Yeah, it should be uh, should be a good time. Yeah. I ordered the main lobster bisque. Uh, a cup of it runs eight dollars, and that's what I got. If you do want a bowl, that's twelve dollars. Um, and then I decided to go with royal wild caught swordfish steak, which will run thirty-one dollars, and uh, is made with butternut squash, roasted apples and peppers, spinach, fingerling potatoes, and sage brown butter. Um, and then I also get a side of truffle fries just to see how those are um, with lemon aioli and. Those are twelve dollars. So that's good for me. I got these steamed Virginia middle neck clams for fifteen fifty. Um, I'm excited to try those. It looks like it has a lot of garlic butter and garlic everything else in there. So I'm excited about those. Um, and I got the New England lobster roll for twenty nine fifty. Um, and I love lobster roll. I get it when I go to like the Harbor House, and it's like the quick service version of a lobster roll. So I'm excited for like a real restaurant lobster roll. Uh, to see what that tastes like. All right, for my appetizer, I got the firecracker shrimp. It's sixteen dollars. Um, I'm hoping it's as good as Bonefish Grills because I love theirs. So we'll see. It's a seafood restaurant. So, um, and then my main course, I got the coconut fried wild sea of Cortez shrimp. So it's coconut shrimp, and it's twenty one dollars. Comes with an orange chili sauce. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm a, I'm a good seafood expert. Here, so I'll know if it's good or not. So. Okay, so I ordered, since I don't eat seafood, and so I'm going to be the guy checking out to see whether or not the non-seafood options here, here are any good. Uh, the Boathouse Pimento Cheese for $12, which is kind of like a pimento cheese dip with some uh, white corn, tortilla chips, but they also have a mixed vegetable pickles, which sound kind of weird. Um, they were talking up their steaks, how good their steaks are, so I decided to try it and see. Uh, seafood places don't always do really well with steaks. They're seafood places, but we'll see. I got the 14-ounce New York Strip, forty-eight fifty. so this is not a cheap steak. Um, and they claim to sear it in a 1,300-degree oven. So that's an awful lot of heat on a steak. So I'm interested to see how this how this comes out. I love our waitress. She is really, really knowledgeable. She's really not like she's funny, but she also like it's hard to find a server that knows how each dish is prepared. Like she's like, oh, like that, like oh, this is prepared with like rice and pureed and blended and blah blah blah, like anything you know, that you name. She's known how the actual kitchen actually yeah. cooks and prepares it. Which is good because we gave her the third degree one the first time. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, like, she did, she did a really, really good job of that. This is absolutely phenomenal. I am very happy with this. Like, in the next Comic Con, I'm getting a bowl or possibly a tub. Or maybe, like, fill up this metal thing just straight with it. Uh, the tune. Or, uh, How's yours, Steve? It's good, really good. Uh, I'm almost done because they're so good. Um, they are like flummy boogers, but they're delicious. Hashtag flummy boogers. How about yours? Mine's good. It's nothing about his lobster bisque. Um, his lobster bisque is the best lobster bisque I may have ever had in my life. I don't know. Like, it's right up there. Um, this is not what I'm used to with firecracker shrimp. Usually it's a very, like, wet, 
sauce on top of stuff, so this is a very dry rub. Um, it's really good. I will, however, give them credit because even with how small these are, they've all been deveined because I'm kind of pulling them apart to check for you guys to make sure that it, it actually is. It really is frustrating when you go to the seafood restaurant and they don't look like that's disgusting yeah. or whatever. And like, are they overly spicy? They're not overly spicy, um, and I don't like spicy, so they're they're okay. They're within that like firecracker shrimp realm, um, and that's that's a big plus for me or whatever. Is if I go to a seafood restaurant and they don't devein their shrimp, they pretty much lose yeah, all the credibility. <laughs> yeah, and like, like I I would do that if I'm feeling and eating shrimp at home. Right. If I'm paying somebody money, then you have to in like a small amount of internal digestive tract of yeah. the thing. And, like I would prefer us to do that. Right. Yeah, the deveining thing is a must if you're having shrimp. It's not great. I'm not like, oh my god, I must have this at all times. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's got that cream cheese consistency to it. It's, it's good. Your lobster bisque, Charles, yeah. was if, amazing. If I could build a tiny boat, shrink myself down, and just sail on this and drink it until I died, that would be the best thing ever. This lobster bisque is really good. It's a, it's like finely pureed. It's really creamy. Um, the lobster seasoned before it even gets pureed. Um, uh, our server gave us, you know, like a complex order of operations. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, and it plays off well. It's really, really good. Uh, how are the pickled uh, vegetables with that, too? I haven't tried them because, like, the concept of it, like, freaks me out. Mm -hmm. She um, said it makes it sweet, though. She said adding that into yeah. that makes it sweet. Oh, Four. Uh, pickled pepper. That's a sweet pickled pepper. Right, so that's, a, that's a little spicy though. You, I don't know if you're gonna like that. Well, because it's like soaking in jalapeno. Yeah. I'm gonna add some cheese. I would, I would trade that for more of the dip. That's kind of unnecessary. Got that. Super. All right, Charles. Scale of one to ten. Um, I'm not a bisque elitist, but I have been around the bisque block. Um, I'm giving this maybe an eight. I think a solid eight, though, like a strong eight, edging under nine. Do you your oysters? They're clams. Clams, whatever. Uh, they were delicious. I'm giving them a nine. They were really, really good. Um, really garlicky, which I like. My breath probably stinks, but they were delicious. Uh, well, anything's an improvement. Nice. <laughs> uh, no, they were good. Uh, I got you confused with crack for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I slurped them right down, as gross as that sounds. Uh, so yeah, I'd get them again. It sounds very gross. Uh, my firecracker shrimp, I, I actually would say it's about seven and a half, eight, something like that. It is really good, it's just not what I'm used to of a firecracker shrimp. Um, and I'm even going to supersede and say Charles' uh, lobster bisque was a 10 or an 11 <laughs> for me. So, because I really put, I'm pushing it and I'm like, people need to eat this. So, that was so good. Um, okay, so all her talking up the steak. It's a perfectly average steak for $50. 12 ounce New York strip, $50. The steak sauce, on the other hand, is very good. So, um, you know, it's, it's cooked perfectly, but it's an average steak. It's an average steak. Doesn't die now. How, how's, uh, how's your swordfish? Uh, my swordfish is excellent. Um, I'm really, really happy I got it. Um, I know you would be. Yeah. Now it's uh, it's delicious. Everything works well together. Uh, quality of fish is great. Um, no, it's uh, it's light. It's filling. It's flavorful. Um, everything kind of works together to just make a absolutely great meal. I will be done with the rest of this in three bites and kind of like throwing it back really quickly. But um, 
<laughs> yeah, so far, everything I've had is really good. I haven't, I haven't ordered anything that I've been disappointed in, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna face plant to that mac and cheese. That is so good. <laughs> These truffle fries, by the way, if anybody oh grabs God, them. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, these are Truffle awesome. fries are really, really good. Mm -hmm. And you got the honey mustard sauce on the side. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay, all right. My coconut shrimp is, it's really good. Um, I don't, I mean, it's what I'm looking for in a coconut shrimp. It's not like some like mind blowing thing, but I know what coconut shrimp is and what it's gonna be, and it's really good. Um, I agree with Pete on his steak. It was kind of tough to swallow. Like it was, it was okay. I didn't think it was that great. Um, the truffle fries are amazing. The beer mac and cheese is amazing. I'm still eating on the pimento cheese from earlier. If Charles had any more soup left, I would be scraping that. Like everything. So to me, every, but overall, everything's been really phenomenal as far as the taste of everything. But I will say his steak was not very good. Steak was good. Get seafood at the seafood restaurant. Mm -hmm. Apparently, is what we've learned. So now, Charles, you just had a reaction. I had Charles take a piece of steak without anything, and then with that sauce. There's a reason that sauce is on the plate. Yeah, um, and it, here's the thing, like, uh, that sauce is a big selling point for it. Like, you know, steak sauce, you shouldn't buy steak just for the steak sauce ever, don't get me wrong. But um, the steak is, uh, it's not poor quality or anything like that, but it's not very flavorful. The sauce they put with it is really good. Um, it's, it's unique. Um, it's, I'm trying to describe it. Um, I'll, have to, uh, I'll have to ask her. What it's like a smoke. It's a smoky, spicy mm -hmm. uh, blend. I don't know what's in it, but it's the bet by hands down the best steak sauce I've ever had. Yeah. Um, and I think the word I'm looking for for the steak is pedestrian. Mm -hmm. It is a perfectly pedestrian piece of steak. Uh, it's certainly better than something you're going to get at you know Sizzler or Golden Corral or whatever. Um, Price wise, though, I don't think it's worth fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. <laughs> This is an expensive, generally speaking, yeah. it's an expensive location. Um, so that's what I, you know, would expect the steak to cost. Um, so I'm not surprised by that. But but there's other places like this where you can spend fifty dollars on a steak that's much better mm -hmm. than that. Steak. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So so far it looks like primarily. I mean. They're getting wins on all the seafood stuff. Oh, yeah. Although, if, even if you don't like seafood, the mac and cheese is, I mean, it's a side, but it is yeah, still good. Everybody likes it. Really like that. Good. The pimento cheese was good. But mm -hmm. that mac and cheese is like. That's a meal. Like, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. That's easily the best mac and cheese I've had in a very long time. Um, and I agree, the truffle fries. Truffle no. fries with the honey mustard sauce. Yep. It's a very good combination. Why I put honey mustard on fire? But, but, you know, but these truffle fries are like miles and miles away from you. Yes. I will say the actual fries are not good though. Like they have to have the truffle to make them good. Because I the truffle I, and parmesan makes yeah, everything good. The better. truffle and parmesan make them really good. They're very plain and kind of just ordinary. They're, they're thin. They're, they're that shoestring fried mm -hmm. things, which I'm not a fan of unless it's, it's all about seasoning. No? No. That's some kind of aioli. This is honey mustard. Oh. Mm. I don't know. It's a lemon aioli. I really wish that I was hungry enough to order myself a bowl of that lobster bisque that you have. Like I might go make myself throw up so I can <laughs> so I can eat a bowl of the lobster bisque or take it with it me together. or something. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I yeah. can still taste it. It's still <laughs> amazing. Like, I'm still thinking about it. Well, and here's the thing, too. They do a really good job of every single thing that I've had, and partially it's because it's seafood, but even with something like mac and cheese, um, every, nothing, I have eaten everything I could get my hands on. It was all really good, and I didn't get that full, sick feeling of eating too much of a good thing yet or anything like that. Like, still kind of like going back and, and hitting different sides and eating your shrimp. There's coconut shrimp. Yeah, try that. Here's a, the sauce you're supposed to get. So it's pretty, it's good. Like, mm. It's what you expect out of coconut shrimp. My lobster roll is phenomenal. Is it? Really, really good, yeah. Oh, yeah, we never asked. <laughs> yeah, we never asked too much. We really don't care so much I about forgot. that. Yeah. No, but it's so, delicious. The uh, roll is like buttered perfectly, and there's tomato, uh, tomato and lettuce underneath, um, and it was like 
heaping when I, it's hard to tell now because I've eaten half of it, but it was like heaping with like huge chunks of lobster. When you get like a cheap lobster roll, it's like shredded up tiny, tiny little pieces of lobster mixed in with like more celery than lobster. But yeah, this is like just huge chunks of lobster. It's really, really good. Um, I don't know if it's $30 good because it was kind of a small, even though- That was $30? Yeah. The lobster, there was a ton on top, but the lo the roll itself was actually pretty small. So I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the price, but it is delicious. So one gripe with this restaurant so far is that the size of our table is so small it is. for mm -hmm. what like we have two sides to share between the two of us, and then with our plates on the table, it's like. But finding a spot for my phone is like hard. I'm like sliding it in between things. And do are the inside ones bigger? I'm wondering. If they look to be about the same size. They, yeah, they look to be about the same size. The same. So yeah. yeah, I don't know. If they're gonna if they're gonna offer our, our, like side dishes and stuff like that, I feel like these tables should be. Yeah, I don't know. Four people here. Just yeah, it's, it's a little tight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we ordered the. Um, like s'mores baked Alaska, and she just brought these plates out. What the hell is on this, dude? It's a plastic glove. I mean, like like rubber gloves, like yeah, like a. So are we getting are we getting a proctology exam? I hope not. I I vote for Steve. I vote for not me. I vote for anyone but Steve. That thing is massive. It's yeah. like an iceberg. Do you want me to spin it? Oh, yeah. Spin it, Vanna. <laughs> I think that's the best part. That is the best part. That's pretty cool. You know what? I did forget spoons. Maybe it gets a attention. I'm really good. Why don't you wait for spoons and eat like a human? This is good. Staring at you eating. I've never had a baked Alaska, so I don't know what to compare it to, but it's really good. It's very good. It is good. It's super good. Can I try a bite of yours, Steve? Oh yeah, yours has graham cracker. It feels like we just carved up the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man's leg and are feasting on it. <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it. This is too much marshmallow for a human being to eat. Charles is making like noise. I'm not. <clears throat> the world's biggest marshmallow fan, and if you I'm take either, if yeah. you take a bite just of the marshmallow part, <clears throat> it's pretty hardcore. Uh, okay, so this is really good. I just had a bite of Steve's. There's only graham cracker at the very, very bottom. So whoever gets the bottom piece gets literally all the graham cracker. It's amazing. Like it's even better with the graham cracker. I want some graham cracker. I just wish that the graham yeah, cracker, if they built the graham cracker up the side like this, everybody would get a little bit of graham cracker in theirs. So I don't know why there's only one. I get piece. to hoard all the graham cracker. Well, no, you're gonna give me some graham cracker. Yeah, that's weird to me. Buy on one piece, but it's great. I was it does say you'd already eaten all of it. It says four to eight. It says four to eight people on there. If you can find four people to come eat this whole thing by yourself. Because this is what's left after the four of us have like thick, massive slices. chunks of. Oh, and it's getting all like Alfred Hitchcock up in here with the birds. So, um, well, they're carrying. But this feeders. is what's left after four people had this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six slices of this left. So really, they say four to eight. It's more like ten. Forty dollars for this, which I think is actually a really good deal for the dessert. But. Mm -hmm. um, and it's delicious, but wow, it's a lot of it's too much. A lot of baked Alaska. What is that too? Although I probably have lice now, but yeah, you really yeah probably you got bugs now. This is a bad decision. I regret everything. Dog. 
He's come so far with his word associations. I'll give you the after card. You want one for us? They sell pearls. Think they're real? I don't know. That's kind of cool. What is it? It's an umbrella, but it looks like a bottle. And then you take it out, umbrella. But I'm actually, I was like, this is stupid. But then I was thinking, if you have a wet umbrella and you don't want to get the back of your car all wet, you could put it in this thing. So that'd be kind of cool, actually. Really? Really? I feel that I'm going to break that. This is a pretty badass uh, bottle opener. It's like pretty heavy too. I think it's like just all steel. I used just like to... touching the naked mermaid. <clears throat> when I was a little kid, I had some of these like carved out of wood. It was like old salty captain things. 